The first thing I remember is the sound of the river flowing and the sound of the trees blowing. It keeps you up at night. These voices become a part of your thinking. You try to sleep and wonder, when is it all going to stop? The river is more than a little water. You can't really see one from a distance. Up close, the water is alive. It is made of light and rocks. It is made of thoughts and memories. But most of all, in my mind, the river is made of trees. Ponderosa. The light from trees comes down and changes the world under it. Ponderosa. This light is like a solicitation, an invitation back to childhood. Mondo Rosa. I was a Girl Scout once, and I loved the outdoors. I was ten years old. When I was young, we didn't see rivers much, not really. I used to float down them, like a dream. The water is colder now, in memories. The water is home to many things, but insects love the water with an obsession. What are they thinking, those crazed little bugs? Rivers speak in their own language. Stanislaus. They're moving water is like a tongue that moves through history. Sometimes the names of rivers are magical. They seem like an incantation to ward off death. Oh, Stanislaus.
the swirling rivers, or the calm. Rivers can be both peace and war. Even the sky can be a river growing dark before a storm. One time I saw a flood. The water reached all the way up to the house where I was living. All you could see was the water and the mud. All the people were silent. Time is also a river flowing by in memory. It tells my story to me in my sleep. I'm making all this up. <laughs> Petroglyphs of wild beasties. If you could do that for 10 seconds straight, we'd be, it'd be good on that. <laughs> When is it all going to stop?